What's up everybody, BC here again, and we are doing the next installment on the series of how to own a supercar in your 20s, right? So today, we're gonna talk about the next important step. After you get a mentor, what you want to do is model. Now what do I mean by model? By model, I mean you take someone else's system in your business, let's say real estate, I'll give you the example of my business, I find somebody who is successful in real estate as a mentor. Let's just say that for the sake of the argument. I want to take whatever systems they're using, what they do day to day, what their business looks like. I want to model my new business now in the light of theirs. Meaning, I take their systems, their day to day, the way he staffs, what he does on his schedule, and I model that and I basically copy it. And I use that to be successful. I tell people success always leaves clues. There's a trail already made in whatever you're gonna do in business with somebody else. All you need to do is adopt it, model it, make a replica of it, apply it, and you will have the same success. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. It's very, very simple, guys. Very simple. That's all I did. I took somebody in the real estate industry who was a coach Mike Ferry, when I started, I got his systems, applied for the coaching, all his systems, all I did was I modeled my business after his systems and I started having massive success right away. Why take something and try to reinvent it? When I have somebody who's been proven in that industry for 40 years as a coach that I could invest a little bit of money in and have a humongous return. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen, modeling. That's all it is. Now the key is that you find the right person to model or the right system to model. If you do that correctly, you will have success. Find the big players, find the big ballers, find the people who are having massive success. And if you have to pay to get a hold of the systems and what they do day to day, I would definitely say it's worth the investment. I was paying when I started. Keep in mind, when I started in real estate, I was broke. I just opened two credit cards and I was like, you know what? This credit card has a $2,000 limit. I'm gonna pay a thousand bucks for this first month of coaching. And I know that since so many people are having success and this guy is so successful himself, that I will be able to make these payments. And guess what? Right away, I started getting business. Within the first month, I took two listings. I ended up selling those and I made more than enough money from those two sales to pay off the remainder of the year. Now, the industry I was working in, in real estate, of course, since I'm in California and the high home prices are higher, my commissions are higher, right? It may be different where you're working, but maybe the coaching or mentorship that you go for isn't gonna be $1,000 a month. But always have the mindset of return on investment. What's my return on investment? If I model these systems, what kind of result can I expect to have? If you model after somebody who's a failure or not so successful, guess what? You're gonna have a similar result. So pick who you're gonna model, what business, what systems, what person, and model appropriately. Something you can learn from Tony Robbins too, he explains this exact same thing. Now I took modeling, applied it, and had massive success. Now the question is, is whatever industry you're in, are you gonna do the same thing? It's very easy to do. And if it requires an investment, I would say invest. Because the proper investment could give you extraordinary growth or the next step to catapult your business to the next level. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Part eight will be coming soon. I don't know how long I'm gonna take the series, but as I get deeper into this, it's gonna get a lot more narrow and defined. And I've created a playlist for you to watch from the first to now and beyond, all right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Likes also, likes really help my content, really help put it out there. Again, if there's anything I can do for you, please reach out to me. And as a last thought, I'm gonna leave this. A lot of people have commented on my intro, and I know it's not the greatest. I would like to hold an opening for somebody out there. If you wanna create an intro, I guess we can make it a little contest. If you think you can create a cool intro for me, uh, what I'll do is I'll take submissions for maybe the next week or two, and then the one that I end up choosing to use as my intro, I'll give that person a shout out, and I'll give them a free hour-long consultation online on whatever they want, okay? So a free hour-long consultation, and I'll give you a shout out on my channel 
for somebody who creates a nice introduction. I would like to keep it at 10 seconds or less. However, if you want to make it a little bit longer, go for it. And again, this is going to go at the beginning portion of most of my videos. So keep that in mind when you're making the introduction. All right. See you guys on the next video.